Hey guys, today I am working on my cold frames. I'm pulling the plastic off and rejuvenating the soil in there to get those beds ready for planting. I've got some seeds started inside of lettuce and then I am going, oh wait, lettuce, spinach, and Swiss chard going. Um, and those plants will go outside into those raised beds along with some seeds that I'm just gonna direct sow in the bed. So to garden in cold frames, the reason that I do it is because I live in garden zone, Ohio zone 5B and our temperatures right now are too cold to plant outside without some sort of protection. So in cold frame gardening, you wanna plant seeds or plants that are tolerant of frost and there are a wide variety of plants that will do well with frost but I like to do lettuce some greens some green sometimes greens but definitely spinach and when I say greens I mean like kale collards things like that um, but I'm planting spinach the lettuce I'm gonna be planting some root things, so like radishes, kohlrabi maybe, um, probably some cilantro as well, but I, I'm not quite sure yet. I do have, you know, like I said, I have those seeds going, but I always like, there's always something that I forget. So I'll probably add more things than what I mentioned today, but we'll do a separate video on planting those things in the cold frame beds. So let's go ahead and get started. These beds look awful um they kind of just been left as is from last year and um had a big garden fail last year with those trying to do um like a late fall crop it just did not work out for me yeah anyways let's go ahead out there and take a look it's bright out supposed to get up to 50 today so it's a good day to do some work out here all right so let's check out these beds so here they are I've got only two going and I probably won't do any more but I need to uncover rejuvenate there's some drip irrigation in there that I'll take a look at and then we will go ahead and add some fresh soil hang on the girls want some attention let me babies hi it's all right good morning good morning they're good girls So here's what the beds look like. It looks like a couple of things did survive. We've got this, looks like collards. Looks like they were going down this row. I mean, I don't really remember what I planted in here. That looks like carrot, these little guys here. And then this, I think this is lemon balm and I think it overwinter, at least from the smell, it smells like lemon balm. Now, as far as everything else, it can be pulled up. I think I will probably pull these plants as well. Um, just let them go ahead and uh, retire. And in this bed, there's some weed. Let me, let me see if this has a smell. Cause if not, I don't know what that is. I think that might be a weed. Yeah. And then we've got some weeds that came into the bed here. They look like they came from out here and got in and this bed or this weed is horrible because it's like everywhere in my yard. So I have to make sure I take care of that for sure. And it spreads like it has these growth points along the vine and it just spreads all the way across the garden. So I can't remember what this is called. 
but it's right outside here so yeah this bed actually looks much worse than the other girls you want a slug look the salmons are mean now here get that slug Ooh, somebody got him somebody got him Ooh. You don't like slugs? No. So thinking about tackling this, I think what I'll do is pull out any weeds that I find and then um, pull these guys so they don't keep growing and then actually just cover this all besides the drip irrigation with the new soil that I bought and just let this all compost down. I think that's probably my best bet here and and it makes use of you know the dead things as compost. Uh oh here goes another slug. Let's see if the girls want him. Come here buddy. You want to know what's exhausting? Lifting bags of soil. I'm so out of shape.
So the beds are covered and they're actually covered really well this time, unlike the other time where I had gaps and things. So they should warm up pretty well. I'll give them a few weeks because I still have girls. I still have seedlings inside that are just getting going. So this is perfect. It's uh, it's actually the first week of March right now. So I hope to plant um, things out in here probably at the second, maybe third week. These girls, they just do not stop. So the beds look really good. I'm excited, yay! So that's how I get my beds ready for cold frame gardening. They are pretty secure. I think they'll be like super great this year. I will say I don't love that soil that I used. Um, I've been having a really hard time getting the products that I love to use. They just haven't been in store and I mean it's early in the year but usually I have access to those things like they're not just gone. Uh, my stores they just don't have anything and so I think like from this soil to potting soil um, I think I'm buying last year's bags and when I opened that bag it was stinky like and typically you know I mean that's not being sold as compost compost when you buy bags of compost that that has a smell to it but this stuff smells like just old and rot and funk like it was moist and funky but I think it'll be okay um, now that it's out of the bag it has time to air out it'll you know compost whatever's stinky in there and hopefully I'll have a pretty good um, you know spring garden um, spring crop from that we'll see but I think it'll be okay um, I've used cruddy soil before and had decent results but I you know I'm stuck with using what I have access to and unfortunately the the soil that I love isn't even available online so I have to wait until it's in stores to actually get it so I'm just kind of stuck using what I have access to which is fine I know how to you know scrimp and scrape but yeah so let me know if you guys have any questions about cold frame gardening I will be planting out there um, probably about two weeks and I will share that with you guys but what I I'll leave a list of cold um, tolerant vegetables that you can start that way if you want to plant along and start a, a spring garden you can do that as well um, but I'll leave a list of vegetables that you can do that with but other than that let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you in the next video bye